What's your, I was the only one to get away story. Was at a fish show. We had been following the tour for a while. Undercovers caught my dude rolling a blunt in the car. Then the other dude with us was coming by. I'm throwing as many get the duck out son. Looks I can. But they popped him for having pills when he came by. So everyone I was with, including the dude who owned the car got arrested. Thousands of miles from home. As the smartest in the group is getting cuffed, he asks the cops to give me his keys and their tickets. So I had a pocket of concert tickets, a car that isn't mine, and like $100. Took the car, bought a couple hundred bottles of water, and a few 30 packs, and went back to the concert. Sold all the water for a dollar each, most of the beers except like 15 or so I drank, for 3 dollars each, and scalped every ticket for like 120 dollars each. Showed up at the jail with a random girl from the concert, shithouse drunk, and bailed my friends out, in all ones. Then bought them a hotel room. Can't leave my people behind, man. I went to a private high school, and was part of a group of about 20 people who knew about a tent hidden in the woods behind our school. People would go there and have X after school, smoke pot and do hood rat shit. Someone got in trouble and ratted out all of us as an attempt to lessen her punishment. Apparently she was going to be expelled, and on the last day before finals, we all got called down to the detention room, and the dean told us that they had found drug paraphernalia and weapons, airsoft pistol, and made us all write down everything we know about the tent, and who we've seen at the tent. 19 people ratted out everyone in that room, including themselves, and were given pretty harsh punishments. Three were expelled, some were suspended into the next year, and the rest got demerits. I wrote down, I have no idea what you're talking about, went and talked to the deans and said the same thing, and was off the hook. I'm certain my name was on every list, and I'm sure they wanted to nail me, but I denied, and I guess they were satisfied with 19 people giving themselves up. Hotboxing a truck with some friends of a friend, senior year, in an empty parking lot of some park. Already high as duck, when suddenly the Taco Bell we had gorged on earlier is going ape shit in my bowels, and holy shit I need a bathroom. I ran stumbled my way to the public restroom on the other side of the parking lot. I finish, and as I'm about to walk out, I see what looks like red lights illuminating the entrance. I start losing my shit. I know it's cops, and everyone's high as duck. At this point I knew, A, my friends are ducked. B. What the duck should I do? I retreated in the farthest stall, and texted my parents saying I was crashing at some dude's house. Ended up falling asleep in the stall. Woke up the next morning, and got another friend to pick me up. Got away, no one ratted me out, and that's how Taco Bell simultaneously destroyed and saved my ass at the same time. My first house party in college was on Halloween my freshman year. Naturally everyone was in costume and about half the people there were underage. I wasn't drinking, but my friends were. Around midnight an older guy, 40s, walked and dressed as a cop. Me, being the one of the few sobers at the party, realized he was an actual cop. I tried to convince my friends to leave, but they all said the guy was just in a costume, so I left on my own. I walked right past the cop, told him to have a good night, and walked home. I found out the next day all of my friends got tickets for underage drinking. I wasn't the only one to get away, but I was in the fewer than 10% that got away. Used to street race in and right after high school. One night we were at one of the quieter locations, and we got an alert that cops were heading in from one direction. We all book it to our cars and start heading out the way that wasn't being closed in on. Suddenly, cars are re-braking and flipping 180 degrees in the middle of the road in front of us, and we see a wall of cops advancing. Duckers closed us in. They herded us into a big parking lot, and I'll never forget watching like 30 Honda Civics drive around in panicked circles like frightened wild animals. At the time I was 17, and only had my permit, and I had sneaked out, so getting caught was not an option. I saw a couple of the less loud cars hop a curb in the back of the parking lot, and book it across a dirt field, so I joined them. I had just enough clearance to make the curb, so there were maybe 6 other cars and myself doing 60 miles per hour across this empty dirt field. K 
came out in a residential neighborhood I had never seen before, and it took me 30 minutes to get out, but I didn't get caught. One of my buddies did, and he got his car impounded, an $800 fine, and his parents were pissed. No regrets. I was gambling in Vegas on a Friday, with friends bachelor party coming up the next day. Playing blackjack mostly, just killing time waiting for dinner, but the table was on fire. It was a full table shortly after I sat down. I played for a couple hours, and the table was all up on money anywhere from $50,000 to $800. The $800 was me. Everyone else was literally up at least 10 grand. It's about 20 minutes before I'm supposed to meet up with someone, so I call it, and head back to my room so I can shower and change for the night. Head out for dinner and have a good night. The next morning, my buddies call me down to the lobby to meet up. As I get down there, out of sheer coincidence they are talking to the dealer that was at the table when I left. She says, there he is. And points at me. Friends are like, no shit. Turns out, I was the only one that walked away from that table with a dollar to my name. As a teen I worked at retail shop with a bunch of other teens. We would regularly fill carts with merchandise and walk them out the front door when management was on break. Cases of beer, cartons of cigarettes, perfume, cologne, batteries, compact discs, Dr. Scholl's, you name it we stole it. I got promoted from cashier to customer service counter. A woman came in one day with a severe bish face on. I said something along the lines of, you don't look like you've had a positive shopping experience, or some bullshit. She went off on me. Turns out the bish face was her normal face, and I'd said the same thing to her every time she came, I didn't remember her, was high most of the time, into the store. That was my third strike, and I got fired on the spot. One week later, all my friends were arrested for theft. They had installed hidden cameras throughout and busted everyone except me. High school party, one of my first. I was wasted, throwing up in the basement bathroom when the cops arrived. Eventually they were let inside, and stormed into the basement where everyone was hiding loudly with the lights off, with their flashlights beaming down into the dark. I want to say there were at least 30 people rounded up into the living room, where they started calling parents. The host of the party saw me sitting on the mantel, having accepted my fate. She knew my dad would literally whoop my ass, and sent me out the window. I knocked over the grill on my way out, and walked around the back of the house, through a few backyards, and to the neighborhood pool where I cuddled with some bushes for a few hours. When I saw the last cop finally leave, I sprinted back to the house and knocked on the door to be let in, scaring the shit out of the three survivors. A few dozen people were charged with underage drinking. That's a good host slash captain. She goes down with the sinking ship but saves you. Started racing. I was winning. Cop lights come on. Friend stopped. I kept going. A few minutes later I get a call from my friend. Friend, the cop wants you to come back. Me, um, no. Friend, he says you'll get it now or later. Me, I guess I'll get it later then. Parked my car down the street from my house, friend came and picked me, and we went to his place to play Xbox. I felt kinda bad that he got a ticket and I didn't. Not me but a friend, this happened 20 plus years ago. Her friends were hanging out and decided to go out for pizza. She headed to the pizza place while the others headed to the other location of same pizza joint. This was before the days of common cell phones. The location that her friends went to. A guy decided to shoot up the place. I'm not sure how many were hit. She was obviously fine because she was at the other location. Quite possibly the dumbest story about getting caught by the police I've ever been a part of. Luckily, I was the only one to get away. This was years ago. At the time I was friends with, well let's call him Mike. One day I bought a brand new digital camera, and was excited to use it. I met up with Mike at his house, and another friend, let's call him Chris, was there, as well as Mike's current girlfriend Kelly. Now, Mike hated his ex-girlfriend, and after a little while doing not much at Mike's house, he pitches the idea of going to his ex-girlfriend's house and egging it. Should've been a massive red flag for his current girlfriend, huh? Anyways. 
So we load up into Chris car, and we drive to local convenience store where Mike purchases 10 dozen eggs on his credit card. We get back into the car, and drive off into the next town to find Mike's ex's house. The whole time I am just playing with my camera and taking pictures, which ends up being both a good and a bad thing, but we'll get to that later. Anyways, we drive by her house a couple times, with Chris, Mike, and Kelly all throwing eggs while I just took pictures. After hitting the house a couple times, we still had a ton of eggs left, so we basically just drove around throwing eggs at random houses and random cars. Not me though, I was just having fun playing with my new toy camera. So, a little while later we notice there is a car right on our ass. Chris starts driving faster, the car speeds up as well. Mike suggests going up on back roads to get away from the car, so we do. The car follows, still right on our ass. At this point Kelly is freaking out and crying. Mike decides that we should probably call the police to help us with this nutbag chasing us around town. Yeah, dumb idea. The police, who had already been contacted by the car behind us, inform us that the best way to scare the car off would be to just drive to the police station. So we do. Yeah. Obviously this person ends up being someone we egged. We show up in the cops, or run out and start accusing us of egging, and the people in the other car are accusing us of egging. There is egg all over Chris' car from accidental splash back and such. So the only thing Chris or Mike thinks of to say is, no, we got egged. Look at our car. At this point, another cop pulls up in his cruiser, and he just shouts at us, which one of you is Mike such and such? And Mike is like, oh, I am. And the cop then says, ah, so you're the dumbass who bought 10 dozen eggs on your credit card before you went out egging, huh? Damn. No way out to this one. One of the cops sees my digital camera. He asks to look at the pictures, and me being young and dumb and not knowing if I had to give it to him or not, gets all freaked out and just hands him, photographic evidence of our entire night out egging. Mike gets arrested. They, for some reason, check Chris's trunk, and they find a bunch of booze. At the time, Chris was underage. This was probably about 8 to 9 years ago, I was probably 20 at the time. Chris gets arrested. He's crying. The cops see pictures of Kelly egging. She gets arrested. I tell them that I was just taking pictures the whole time. They look through my camera and see picture after picture and believe me. I am the only one not to get arrested from the dumbest event in human history. We egg tons of houses, I photograph the event as evidence for the cops, and then we literally drove ourselves to the police station where we were all arrested. I was insanely scared and convinced I was going to get arrested as well. Nope. Stopped hanging out with Mike and Chris after that. No thank you. I don't need to egg anyone's house. I don't need to get arrested doing dumb shit like that. TLER, my friends and I all went out egging houses, then drove ourselves to the police station and everyone was arrested but me. Big house party, I drank the wrong drink, got Rufinol, went to my car and passed out for the rest of the night. Everyone was on this big deck and it collapsed, then the cops showed up and acted like total donks, even though people were injured. I slept in my car through the whole thing. Edit, for clarity and to answer inboxes. Was in Vancouver BC Canada, I suspect roofies because I was on my second drink of the night when everything started feeling really weird, I knew something wasn't right, so decided to go out to my car and sleep it off. I barely remember this. I was informed by a friend the next day why I went out to my car, 